Is there any possibility of solving the ecological problems we face? Absolutely. I'm, I think that's one of the easy ones. That's an easy one. Yeah. Environmental impact is the product of three variables. Population, wealth, and technology. How many people you have, how rich are they, and what kind of technology are they using? Okay. So what's happening? The population growth rate is falling very, 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 very fast. Literally, last weekend, they lo lowered, the UN lowered the long-term population forecast by almost a billion people again. Okay? Oh. <clears throat> yeah. There's a huge surprise that's happening. Even in, it used to be believed that uh, you, you had to make countries fairly rich and women well-educated. So Now, even in really poor countries in Africa and parts of South Asia, the, the birth rates are falling really fast. As soon as birth control becomes available and women become in charge of their own bodies, it changes everything. And it's happening very fast. So we used to believe that the world population would reach 20, 30 billion. Now it's going to be under 10 billion. Uh, the last doubling of the species has already happened. We're not going to double again. So the first variable in the equation is already under control. People want to get rich. They want to live well. Okay. So you, the answer is not making people poor. Okay. You know, it, so the, the answer is making them well off. So the real variable you have, that we have to control is technology. You know, what kind of engine is in your car? How are we producing our electricity? How do we make our plastic? What do we do with the plastic when we finish with it? And so on. That's all controllable. That's all stuff we know how to deal with. We know how to improve the efficiency of our automobiles and move to electric vehicles. We know how to do energy much more efficiently. We know all kinds of new industrial processes and so on. So <clears throat> over the next 20 years, we're going to be changing our technology of production and energy fundamentally. And it's going to get cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. So the interesting thing is the richer we get, the cleaner we get. I mean, today, look, the, the cleanest places on the planet are the richest. The dirtiest places on the planet are the poorest. You, you, want, to get, you want to see environmental hell, you know, go to some place like Shanghai. So the, the, the fundamental basis of my optimism is the last 500 years. Uh, and the last 500 years since the beginning of the scientific revolution um, and the increasing technological power that has flowed from that. Look, m more people live well today on this planet than have ever lived well before in any moment in human history. Probably on the order of something like a billion and a half, two billion people live pretty well out of six billion. That means that, you know, at least another two or three billion people don't. And, you know, there's two or three billion who are just getting by and two or three billion who are really poor. But there's about a billion and a half, maybe two billion people in U.S., Europe, parts of Asia, parts of Latin America who are doing rather well. That's the fruit of the last 500 years. Hmm? Uh, that's the uh, ability to create that way of life. That's my evidence. Um, that's a very long, very deep, very powerful force. The forces of nationalism, of religious conflict, of individual interests, of ignorance and intolerance, these are still very powerful forces. They're not going to go away overnight. Hmm? Uh, so I don't mean to say that we are headed for a utopia where everybody's going to love each other and every marriage will be happy and every childhood will be a delight. No. There will still be failed marriages and unhappy childhoods and there will still be crime and murder and violence in the world. But more and more people, by the billions, will be living better longer, with more opportunity in their lives than ever before. What are all these notes behind you? Well, these are uh, members of the, the Global Business Network. They're all interesting thinkers. They're the people who make us think. They're the sources of our ideas. And they are people who have, uh, we have interviewed for a new book coming out uh, next fall uh, called uh, What's Next? The Future of the World. Yes. <laughs>